everybody, welcome to my channel. My name's Heather and this is Polished Paws. Um, I, this is my very first YouTube video ever, ever. Um, I'm, I'm nervous, but I'm really excited and I'm hoping that this is the start of a exciting and fun um, YouTube experience. I have several videos that I would like to start making. Um, I've wanted to start this channel for a long time um, and I just never really felt I don't know like comfortable or like I was really ready to start doing this and then it seemed like last year in 2016 there was just a ton of um, of new youtubers new nail polish youtubers um, and these all these girls these amazing girls started putting out videos and creating their channel and they were very inspirational and, and motivational for me um, they motivated me to to go ahead and start start my own um, so this is my very first video and I, I, it may seem a little bit um, a, a, like cliche or maybe played out um, I don't want it to be like cheesy but it makes sense to do um, my, for my first video, the Confessions of a Nail Polish Addict tag. I know that a lot of people have come before me and have done that as their first video, so I don't want it to seem like I'm like I'm copying anybody or like I'm like I'm taking their ideas. Um, I just it makes I mean it makes the most sense to me I think to to do that video first because what better way to introduce you know myself but also like my polish preferences and what I like what I dislike and like how I am as you know as a, as a person just kind of kind of an introduction to me and what my channel will mostly be about um so yeah I'm excited so we'll go ahead and we will start right now so question number one is what color are you wearing right now and that would be Winter by Picture Polish, and um, I'm not. It, it does not feel like winter where I live. I live in North Carolina, and it's like 65 degrees outside right now, so it doesn't feel like winter. But I want to go ahead and film my top polish picks for winter. I have a mainstream and an indie version, and um, I wanted to go ahead and do that. And I thought, what better polish to, to wear than than winter but um this is it and it's coming it's it's a really pretty charcoal based polish with a lot of holographic like micro flakies I guess in there um it's really really pretty it it's looking a little bit more black I was hoping that the sunlight would pick up on some of those holographic sparkles better than what it is but anyways picture polish winter is what I'm wearing now okay question number two what nail product can't you live without I feel like there's a lot of those um I cuticle oil obviously is one um hand moisturizer I use nail butter every day and I will post links to Jess Face 90 and Miss Holly Berry's channels down below because um, just to give credit where credit is due because I found out about nail butter through their channels and um, I do use that about every day sometimes twice a day um, but I I find that helps to I change my nail polish like every day and so I use a lot of acetone and a lot of polish remover and I feel like the nail butter helps assist with like the the damage that so much acetone and polish remover can do um base coats and top coats even though that seems like a like a dumb answer I my nails are really prone to staining so I have to usually like double up on base coat and then I'm always running late like every day <laughs> I'm running late it's I can never be on time so I'm always running late and um, I use a lot of like quick dry top coats like 
Sesh Beat, um, HK Girl. There's like a Colors by Loro quick dry top coat that I use. Um, just several. But yeah, so quick dry top coat, I guess out of everything, I probably use that the most. Um, so those are some of my like essential nail products. Okay, question number three. What is your favorite nail polish brand? That is a hard question. There, I don't think that I'm going to be able to definitively answer that. Um, as far as mainstream goes, I think Zoya is my favorite nail polish brand. I have probably the most Zoya and I just, I'm really, I, I'm always happy with Zoya. Their formulas are always great. They're Colors are, they have such a wide variety of colors and finishes. I mean, it's not just creams. They offer everything. So, Zoya would be my favorite mainstream. And then I guess OPI and China Glaze are kind of tied for second. And indie brands, oh man, that's so hard. Um, colors by LaRoe is definitely one of my top favorites. I have a lot of her polishes. Um... I do like Native War Paints Illyrian Polish. I got hooked on Illyrian Polish last year. Like, there's just, there's too many to name. I love Pretty Serious. I think their formulas are fantastic. There's just, there's Glam Polish. Oh my gosh, I have a ton of Glam Polish. Yeah, I'm sorry, I can't. There's just too many to name. But those are some of my top favorite indie brands. Um... Question number four, what nail shape do you wear? I guess that would be the squoval. Um, I kind of bounce back and forth between squoval and oval, but I think I, I tend to, to do the squoval, I guess. Um, what's your go-to red, pink, and neutral nail polish? Question number five. Okay. Okay. I have visual aids. So, for my go-to red polishes, um, my favorite color is pink, but like dark pink, like really rich, dark pink that, and kind of the pink that like is closer to the, to the red family than anything. Um, so, a lot of times polishes that I think are like dark pink, I've heard other reviewers or seen, you know, other bloggers, they consider those polishes to be red. I, so, that might skew my answers here a little bit. So, I've got a couple of different options. Um, one of my favorite go-to red polishes, this is um, Malaga Wine by OPI. And I will insert better um, up close pictures. But this is just like a really pretty, like a Merlot red cream. Um, it's kind of, in this lighting, it maybe looks a little bit more like a, like a berry shade. But it's a really pretty like Merlot red cream. And that's OPI's Malaga Wine. Another OPI red that I use is Bogota Blackberry. And I I just I prefer darker reds, like really vampy shades. And Bogota Blackberry, I just I just love this. I think it's just a gorgeous, really vampy, like crimson dark red. Um I'm there's tons of dupes out there. I think I have a couple dupes of this myself and other brands, but Bogota Blackberry, whenever I want like a rich red, this is definitely one that I reach for. Um, go to pinks. <laughs> Look, I'm obsessed with pink. It's my favorite color, always has been. And like I said, I really, really love like dark pinks and pinks that kind of are geared more towards like the red side. Um, 
So this is one of my all-time favorite pinks. And this is a prime example of one of the polishes that other people would consider red. When I look at this, it is definitely pink. It is pulling up more red tone in the camera right now, that's for sure. But in my opinion, this is like a pink polish. And this is one of my favorite polishes of all time. This is You Only Live Twice by OPI. And this came out in the Skyfall collection. So like fall, winter 2012. I love that Skyfall collection. I That's one of my all-time favorite OPI collections. But You Only Live Twice by OPI. And um, another go-to pink. So I'm going to have a lot of these. This is another OPI. This is It's All Greek to Me. And I don't know why. Like, I never hear anybody talk about this polish. And I don't know why. But it is absolutely gorgeous to me. It's just this really, really bright, like, vibrant, just gorgeous pink. And I don't, I mean, you never hear anybody talk about it. But... I, this is another one that I just, I love. Um, and then last one, I promise. Um, last pink. This is a Colors by LaRoe. I have to shake it up. This is one of my most used polishes and one of my favorites. This is 976 Babe by Colors by LaRoe. Um, this was one of my first two... Colors by Laro polishes, and it is forever will be one of my favorite polishes, period, regardless of brand. But this is just a really, really gorgeous pink holographic, and it's like super, super strong linear hollow. The formula on these are fantastic. Like, I don't know how she does it, but Colors by Laro makes some of the most pigmented, beautiful formulas. Um, and again, just the, the, this I love this polish. So 976 Babe. Those are some of my like go-to reds and pinks. Um, for go-to neutrals, I didn't wear neutrals for a really long time. Like I'm just now getting to the point where I actually wear neutral nail polish. Um, but one of my Go, I guess my go-to neutral would be this one by Morgan Taylor. And this is called Flirting with the Phantom. And this is just a really pretty, like, beige neutral cream. Um, the formula on this one is really good. This is what I call um, my interview polish. Because whenever I would apply for jobs um, and I would go on interviews, I didn't want to wear, like, naked nails because my nails do have a tendency to stain. So... I thought this would be like a really good professional color to wear um, for when I'm going to apply for jobs like in, in a corporate setting. Uh, so yeah, those are my those are my picks for red, pink, and neutral nail polishes. Okay, question number six. Short or long nails? I would call them long nails. I don't know if, I'm sure a lot of people might think that, like, would classify these as short, but to me, they're long. Um, I, th well, like, this length of long, because I've seen, you know, on Instagram and, and on the internet, you see bloggers who have nails that are, like, out to here, crazy long nails. It's not for me. I can't, I couldn't. I work at a, I have a day job, like a nine to five. I work in an office and I literally sit on a computer and type all day. So I can't have nails longer than this or I wouldn't be able to, to work. I wouldn't be able to do my job. Plus I'm really clumsy and I would like, I would stab myself in the eye or something if I had nails longer than this. But these are, I mean, they do hang up off the fingertips considerably. So I would, I would classify these long nails. Okay, question number seven. What nail polishes are on your wish list? So I had wanted to do like a like a what's on my lemming list video anyways. Um, so I won't 
like harp on this question, but I guess some limitings would be absolutely Alice is probably my biggest one um, by OPI. OPI, Mad is the Hatter is another one. Um, or the original Starry Starry Night, of course, is, is on there. Um, oh, here's a recent one. Um, Magpie by Model Zone. I saw Amy from Nail Polish Baby 90. I'll link her channel down below as well. But she featured that in like a maybe a swatch them all week. I'm not sure. But she had that in a recent video. And I was like, I want that so bad. Well, I can't find it anywhere now. It's not on the Model Zone website. So that's probably my one of my top lemmings right now. But okay. Uh, question number eight, when do you paint your nails? Morning, afternoon, or evening? So I said a few minutes ago I have um, like a like an office job. It's uh, Monday through Friday, like 9 to 5. So I can't paint my nails in the office. I mean, I have a couple times. I'm not supposed to, but I have. Um, but so I paint my nails in the evening, like after I get home from work and make dinner. I just... I love to just like sit down in the living room, watch TV, and paint my nails. It's, it's like my therapy. Um, but yeah, it, it's my it's my relief. <laughs> um, sometimes on the weekends, though, like I prefer to paint my nails um, like Saturday morning and then Sunday afternoon, evening sometime. But yeah, definitely most days I. I do paint my nails pretty much every day. Like I change my nail polish just about every day. So most often I I paint in the afternoon evenings. Um, question number nine: What's your top nail polish tip you swear by? That's a hard question. I guess um, I guess cuticle care would be the number one tip that I would swear by. However. <laughs> I think it's kind of a do as I say, not as I do kind of thing because I'm not the best with cuticle care. I need to be much better at cuticle care than what I am. And I know that. I know that. That's actually one of my 2017 resolutions is do better with cuticle care. Um, but I definitely think that, that keeping your cuticles moisturized and pushing them back and then keeping your hands moisturized period especially if you're someone like me who changes her nail polish all the time and you use a lot of acetone it really really dries out your nails it also dries out your cuticle beds and the skin around your nails like it it does a lot of damage and so I definitely think that keeping them moisturized and really taking care of your cuticles helps your nails a lot it helps them grow faster so that is something that I would recommend <laughs> and that I am trying to be a lot better about is cuticle care. Okay, question number 10. What nail polish do you regret buying? So, one of my favorite types of videos to watch from like polish bloggers is nail polishes that you regret buying. I don't know why, I just, those are some of my favorite videos to watch. So that's definitely one of the videos that I really, really want to do. Um, so I'm just going to show like one example right now of that. And that, um, this is Essie's Haute Tub. And this polish, like right now with the light reflecting inside it, it's gorgeous. It's really pretty purple, like dark purple shimmer. And there's some, like some shade shifting and some multi-chrome flash going on. Like this is an absolutely gorgeous polish when you're like looking at it in the bottle and it's in the light I saw this polish and I always I try to be really good about looking up swatches online and so I looked up swatches online the first time I saw this and all the swatches photos that I saw it looked black like it looked really really dark and that's kind of one of my pet peeves is when you buy a polish and it looks one way in the bottle and then it's like, especially, I guess, especially if it's a darker shade and it always ends up looking black on in like almost every single lighting. So I talked myself out of buying it two, maybe three times and was like, no, you don't need that. You're just going to be disappointed because you're going to put it on and it's not going to look the way on your nails that it looks in the bottle. 
somehow, for whatever reason, I just, I, I kept seeing this pop up in stores and I convinced myself, like I just convinced myself that all the swatch photos I saw were probably in like darker lighting or I just, I don't know. I, dumb, dumb. I went ahead and bought this anyway, knowing, knowing that it was probably going to end up looking like a black polish. Sure enough, sure enough, I got this, I got it home. It, in almost every lighting, this just looks like a, like a plain black polish. Like you can't, the purple shimmer hardly stands out. I mean, you have to be like in blazing sunlight for it to really stand out on your nails. And it just, I was just really disappointed in this. And I'm not like a huge, I don't want to beat a dead horse. I think a lot of people have expressed frustration with Essie that, they're a little bit overpriced sometimes, and their formulas are super hit or miss. Um, I'm not a huge Essie fan for those reasons. I share those opinions and frustrations sometimes, and I'm not like a huge Essie fan. I think that they can be a little bit overpriced for what you get. Um, but I just, I really liked the way this looked in the bottle, and I just, I knew in the back of my mind that it wasn't going to be what I wanted it to, but I went ahead and bought it anyway. That's a polish that I regret buying. Um, question number 11, neon or pastel? I don't know. Um, I'm not necessarily, I hate to like punk out and not give an answer on my first video, but I don't, necessarily wear a ton of either so I don't know that I could really I don't know that I could really say which one I like better than the other I like them but they're not like two of my all-time favorite finishes so I, I guess if I had to choose I guess neons if I had to choose I guess neons what's your favorite polish right now Okay, so this question I feel like could be interpreted a couple of different ways. If they mean, what's your favorite polish color, like color of the rainbow, pink, like hands down, bright pink, like all year round, I wear this all year. There's never a time that I don't love this color, that I don't love wearing this color, so hands down, it's going to be like a, like a dark pink. Um, if they're, ref if the question is referring to like a particular polish, which one is my favorite right now? That would probably have to be, um, this, which is ILNP's Industrial Park. And this is not really showing up as gorgeous on camera as it is to me in real life. I cannot stop wearing this. It's just this gorgeous, like, slate blue gray, and I'm obsessed with slate blue gray, like, charcoaly blue colors for some reason right now. I am, that's just, this whole winter and, like, most of fall, that's, this, this is the particular color shade that I've been craving, and I just can't stop. The formula on this was fantastic. It was opaque for me in two coats. It's super holographic, but it's not too holographic like it's still you can definitely still see that base color really prominently but it has that nice rich holographic too that just I don't know I just think it's gorgeous and I love it so that would be ILNP's Industrial Park. Okay, so that's it. That's my video. I'm done. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you stuck it out to the end. I really, really appreciate it. Um, I hope that you like this video, and I hope that um, if you if you did like it, you thumbs up and subscribe if you if you want to. If not, that's okay. But um, thank you again for watching, and I really do hope that this is the start of a successful and, and pleasant. YouTube experience. I hope to make many more videos and um, yeah, I'm excited to, to hopefully join this 
this community of girls who vlog about nail polish because no one in my life gets the obsession. So I'm hoping that this is a good way for people to, for me to be able to find people who are like-minded and have that same obsession that I do with polish. Um, so yeah, thanks again for watching and I hope to speak to you guys soon. Bye.